Hello everyone, let's learn SQL Server Query Optimizer in this session. In SQL Server, when user initiates query, this query is unwrapped and passed to CMD parser and the query is checked for syntax mistakes. If the syntax is valid in the next step called binding, all objects referenced in the query are checked whether they are valid and exist in the database. After the parsing and binding, the hash of the query is generated, and that hash is checked against the plan cache in the buffer pool to check whether the execution plan for this query exists or not. You can ask, what is execution plan? The execution plan is a series of instructions to execute a query in the most efficient way. We can say it is the optimal plan to execute the query. When the SQL Server generates a plan for the first time, it saves the plan in the plan cache in RAM so that it does not generate the one again when the same query is run in the server. We will learn execution plan and troubleshoot different queries in the next sessions. So, if the plan cache exists, it is passed to query executor component to execute the query. The executor executes the query plan going through each step in the plan and bringing the data from storage. What does it do is, it first connects to access methods component. This component contains the codes to retrieve the data. It logs the data change operations in transaction log file and brings the data from the data cache by using buffer manager. Okay, what if there is no plan in the cache? The plan in the cache might not exist since the query might be being run for the first time or the plan might have been deleted from the memory. In this case, SQL Server generates a plan newly in the component called optimizer and passes the plan to the query executor from there. Query optimizer is a very secretive component of SQL Server. How it finds and generates the optimal execution plan is kept secret even within Microsoft. What is known is a component is cost-based feature, which evaluates multiple ways to execute the query and picks the plan with the lowest cost. I want to mention that after generating the plan, the optimizer does not only passes it to executor, but also saves it to the plan cache for the future use. In this session, we will speak about this query optimizer in more detailed way. First, why we should learn optimizer? Suppose you started to face slow running query. The first step in this case to find whether SQL Server is spending time in query execution or generating query plan for this query. If we find SQL Server is spending more time on generating execution plan, next question is why? In this case, if you know how optimizer works and how, what stages are in the optimizer, you can troubleshoot this issue. If SQL Server is spending time on executing query instead, the next question is whether the query is waiting or constantly running on CPU. If the query is mostly running on CPU, we should check execution plan. We should understand why this plan is being generated in this way and try to find ways to fine tune the query so that it runs faster on CPU. In this case also, understanding optimizer helps. Why? Because the query plans are being generated by optimizer. So we understand that parsing and binding is a process before submitting query to optimizer. In the parsing, syntaxes are generated and the parser tree is built. In the binding process, after checking object existence and permission level settings, algebraized tree is generated for optimizer. We can check the tree with 8606 trace flag. Let me show you. Firstly, I run this query by recompiling and enabling these two trace flags. You can see here the tree. First, we are defining the target columns, quantity, actual cost, and multiplication of these two columns, which is called as expression here. Then, we are bringing the data with that, uh, with get uh, operation 
for these columns from this table. Then, since we have multiplication operation, we are multiplying this quantity and actual cost columns. This is simply algebraic tree. Now let's continue. Getting this algebraic tree, Optimizer tries to create and access as many execution plans as possible within the limited time and get the best plan based on the cost. But not all the plans can be checked as balance should be taken between time and plan quality. This is a whole process for Optimizer if we look internally. Binding, simplification, trivial plan, statistics, loading, etc. First stage is simplification. In this stage, your query is simplified internally. For example, unnecessary joins are removed. Push down pr predictions. Contradiction is detected. Or subqueries are changed inter joins. For example, let me show you an example for simplification. First, I run this query. Here, you can see the input algebra tree from binding. Then, we can see our condition, which is product ID bigger than 300. Then, based on this, simplify tree is being generated. Let's now add contradiction. Here you can see contradicting conditions. Since there is a contradicting conditions, simplify tree is not being generated and SQL Server is stopping execution at this stage. Let's try another example for an unnecessary join. You can see here we are getting only one table in this query production product, right? So now let's do join operation. After we add a join operation in algebraic tree, we can see we are trying to access two tables to join them. But in the simplification, we are omitting unnecessary join. Why it is becoming unnecessary? Because we are not using any column from this join table. Therefore, in simplification, SQL Server is just omitting this unnecessary join. After query is simplified, SQL Server tries to execute this query with simple trivial plan. The whole stage of optimization process may be expensive to initialize. To avoid this expensive operation for simple query, SQL Server tries to use trivial plans. In short, if there is only one way or one ob obvious best way to execute the query, a lot of work can be avoided, right? If query can be run with trivial plan, other stages of optimization is skipped. For example, the following uh, Ad Adventure Wars 2019 query will produce a trivial plan. The optimization level entry in the properties window of a graphical plan will show trivial, right? So, this is the trivial plan. If the query does not qualify for trivial plan, SQL Server enters full optimization phase. Firstly, it loads statistics. To estimate the cost of an execution plan, the query optimizer needs to know as precisely as possible the number of records returned by a given query. And to help with this, SQL Server uses and maintains optimizer statistics. Statistics contain information describing the distribution of values in one or more columns of a table. I'm not going to speak about the statistics in depth here. You can learn about this in another session if you want. After loading statistics, if your query has join operations, join ordering process is done. Join ordering is one of the most complex problems in Query. It refers to the process of calculating the optimal join order. That is, the order in which the necessary tables are joined. Okay. 
the query optimizer needs to make two important decisions regarding joins, the selection of a join order and the choice of a join algorithm. Because the order in which the tables are joined can greatly impact the cost and performance of query, this join ordering is also very much important. Even simple queries offer many different possible join orders, and this number increases exponentially with the number of tables that need to be joined. For example, SQL Server uses three mechanisms to join ordering. If A, B, C, D tables should be joined here, SQL Server might use left deep tree joining, okay, uh, which is joining A and B first, then C and D and final C and um, then C and then D and final C and D. Okay, or SQL Server might use center tree joining A, A and B, then C and D, then join B and C finally. If if we calculate possible combinations like this for the number of tables to be joined, the possible combinations increases greatly. So. How does SQL Server Query Optimizer analyze all these possible plan com combinations, right? How? The answer is it does not. Query Optimizer find, must find a balance between the optimization time and the quality of the resulting plan. Unfortunately, we cannot know how this decision is made as it is internal mechanism. Here, we just need to understand that if you involve join operations in the query, SQL Server calculates many join ordering and related costs to give you a good plan. However, due to time limit, this might not be the best one. Okay, after deciding join ordering and getting related statistics, SQL Server comes to full optimization phase where there are three stages of optimization. In stage zero, a plan can be found for small queries with, with at least three tables, okay? If SQL Server cannot find suitable plan in stage zero, it switches to stage one, and then even to, even to stage two for more complex optimization tasks, okay? SQL Server might jump to uh, stage uh, one uh, before going to stage zero or stage uh, two directly for if it detects very complex tasks. Now we are clear about the whole optimization phase. Let's explore this with real examples. After running this query, we can see the whole process we talked until now. First, we have algebraic tree from binding. As you can see, since our query is complex, tree is pretty much complex with several joins. Then we have simplified tree and ending time for this process, right? After that, join ordering. If we go down, we can see this query did not qualify for trivial plan. Therefore, pass through the stage zero, stage one, stage two. You can confirm ending time for each stage. I want to finish this session by sharing useful DMV, which can help to troubleshoot optimizer related issues. This is DM exact query optimizer in four. You can see counter name here, then occurrence, which shows the number of optimizations for this counter and value that indicates the average value per event occurrence. You can refer to this table for explanations of the counter. Most of the explanations are internal. You can also refer to the of official documentation for counter explanations. One of the problem of this DMV is this is this is cumulative and uh, system wide. If you want to check the statistics of particular query, I suggest creating a temporary table and uh, check the difference. You can you can just simply run uh, something like this kind of query. First, we will create uh, before query object before query uh, uh, like a temporary tab table uh, before running query then we run our query then we again run that um, another and we create another table 
uh, uh, by using system exec query optimizer info. After that, we just compare the two tables to see the difference. Then uh, after that, you can see the output, whether uh, at what stage your query finished. For example, it is in trivial plan or it is a uh, phase one, two or three. You can just confirm from here. For example, in, you can see in, the, in this case, in my, my query finished um, in search one phase because it did not qualify for trivial plan. Thank <laughs> you.